All right, can you hear me? I'm using my radio button thing. If you can, I think the default is V on the keyboard. Hello? <gasps> Perfect. Perfect, I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you too. Now, just in case, because I think it t I tend to have a problem with the others, my microphone has a weird thing where it will all of a sudden start echoing, or I sound like I'm inside of a tin can. Let me know if you hear that on your end. You sound okay to me. Perfect. Probably one thing we should test out is, are we able to talk to each other at the same time? Or are they like radios? where if you hold it down, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so. All right. As per librarian does, I have a bunch of books. Oh. oh no, you have to do the reading. <laughs> well, to be fair, and I don't mean to flex on you, but I was a librarian's assistant for about seven and a half years. I don't even know what that means, but I believe it. Pretty much did everything the librarian did, except I didn't get the same pay. <laughs> I'm seeing a few things. I found a radio. Okay. Which I guess I'm using now. <laughs> Stands to reason. I've got I've got an old film reel and a map. Do you see any symbols? I'm seeing uh, nine different symbols. One of them is like a circle with an X and a line down the middle. A Z, upwards, upside down M, an N, all that. ...of eyes with different eye colors and two symbols in between the two eyes. Oh boy. Okay, so I guess to start off with, uh, I do see two different eyes. One of them is a red okay. eye and the other one is a blue eye. Okay. And okay. between the two eyes, I can see a bunch of different, like, I don't know, some kind of different symbols. Okay, I actually have... Uh, on this on poster, this poster a, red a, eye, a red eye and a blue, and a blue eye, eye. And, I have, and I have two symbols in between them. One looks like a check mark with the little tail on the upper end, and the other one looks like an X with a circle where the two lines interconnect or intersect. I clicked them and the door opened. We're geniuses. All right, I'm in a second room. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Um, okay, this is a weird room. There is a peacock with a human skull as a head. Okay, yeah, I'm liking this rotunda with a bunch of pictures of Creepy birds. Okay, so you said, what was the bird? So it kind of looks like it has goat hooves on its back legs, chicken legs as its front legs, and white wings going all the way from the back to the tail, and a human skull. Is it facing right? Yes. 
Okay, I think I've got the right picture, and I have three symbols underneath it. All right, I'm gonna go over to the symbols real quick, and I'm, I'm here. Okay, the, oh God. <laughs> okay, they bear with like... me in my descriptions. The first symbol ah. almost oh. looks like oh. a square without the bottom line, and then a J symbol going through it with a circle and a cross inside the circle on top of the J. Oh, okay. Um, I got that. I think I see it. And it lets me put it in one of three slots, a left, a middle, and a right. Okay, that would be, it would probably, the, if you got the right one, it'd be on the left. Yeah, it's a super looking weird one. It kind of, it looks like a weird janky version of the pie symbol. <laughs> a little bit, yes. All right, uh, what's the middle one? The middle one almost looks like a candle abra. But the, the bottom, there's like a like a half moon. I think I found the one. Does the the tops have circles? Yes. Got it. And that's the middle one. It is indeed. Two out of three. All right, the last one, which should be the right one, it looks like a lower case F, but instead of one line going through it, it's two, and they kind of curve up. Kind of like V's? Exactly like V's. Alright, I'm gonna try putting it in. Mission accomplished. Amazing. <laughs> All right, I think we're very good at puzzles. <laughs> or these are tutorial ones. Uh. All right, I am in a room that has stairs, a couple of boxes. I don't think I can do anything with the boxes. And at the bottom of the stairs, there's a, the word orange, but the word is purple. No, the word orange, but the, the letters are all purple. Okay, I've got three things I can turn. They're different colors, so I'm trying. Should I make. Okay, it spells out orange? Yes. Okay, I've got. Red and blue is orange, That's right? Good um. Okay, I just realized that uh, the wa the room is filling with water. <laughs> I'm going to drown soon. Okay, I I think I might have done something. Oh, oh no! I don't want to die. Not like this. <laughs> okay. Um, do you need me to look at anything? Cause I'm the room is filling with water. Okay, I'm trying, okay, uh. <gasps> oh my God, okay. thank you. <laughs> You're still alive, right? I am still alive. It was, there was nothing left for me to stand on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. I had different colored valves and I guess I had to mix the valves in order to make orange. I am standing next to a lever and a gate and on the far end of the gate, I don't know if it comes in, but it says, bring down the guiding light. Bring down the guiding light. All right, let me see. Guiding light. Ooh, I got a switch. Hold on, let's see. Anything? Um, on my side, I can pull a lever that will open the front gate, but lower different gate. 
Okay, let's see. The two gates are directly in front of each other, and I don't think I can... Oh, never mind. I could just... Did I break my game? I might have broke my game. <laughs> I hit the lever while I was on the other side of the gate, so there's no going back now. Let's see. Well, I have a lever <gasps> With here. With a gold And it's this really nice shiny white light, and I pulled it. That seems to be like the only thing that sounds like a shining light. I'm not seeing any white lights. Right now I'm seeing there's multiple hallways and a lot of really good dot. <gasps> oh my god, there's something crawling down here. <laughs> Can we die in this game? I think so. When we were watching the intro, I remember just, I was just said, I thought this was a friend, like a family friendly puzzle game. Why didn't know there was going to be murder? Oh boy. Okay. I, hmm. I have a map that looks like it has a lot of corridors. I've got blue lines. Oh, wait. They all just disappeared. Hold on. Oh, I think I'm on a time limit with this map. Okay, I've got a map with a bunch of corridors. Are you where you started? I can be. Okay. All right, I'm looking directly at the wall where I started. Like, right when I come into the room, I'm looking at the first wall. And there's, there's a left passage and a right passage. Okay. Go, go to your right, and then you'll probably come to some stairs on your right again, and see if there's anything in a small room. Um, I found a blue lever. All right, let's live dangerously. Pull it. Yeah. Uh, nothing happened on my end, but it might happen somewhere farther into the maze. Okay, hold on. Let me go pull that other lever again. I'm spooked, guys. <laughs> I don't know what that crawling thing was. I hated that. Okay, turn around to leave that room with the bull, blue lever. And when you go up the stairs, keep going right. All right, before I continue on, I am in front of a painting of a golden retriever with a candle as a head. Don't know if it means anything, but I can see it. I have nothing around me, gold retriever like. <laughs> All right, I kept going, and I'm going upstairs now. And I'm near a gate with blue, uh, diamond-like middle parts. Is it is it closed or open? Uh, one part is. The middle, it looks like there's three gates. The middle one is closed, the, and the two outer ones are open. Good grief. Okay, well, I'm assuming the blue lever is going to manipulate the gate. Because if you go back to where you start, and you go left, there's another blue marking on my map.
I went back and pulled the lever again. I'm gonna go see if that changed anything from the right side. Uh, so it seems whenever I pulled the lever, the gate went down, but before I pulled it, which is now, it's back at its default, that middle gate went up and I can go through. Okay. Okay. So if you keep going straight and right, you should come to kind of a big room and maybe something green in there with you. Green. I see another gate with the green with the green uh, middle parts. Okay, I see. Okay, I have a map in where the lever is to manipulate the gates. They're marked by X's. I have a green X, but I also have another, I guess, blue gate that I would assume you'd have to open to get to the green lever. And it's in the opposite direction of where you came from. All right, I'll go exploring. Don't let that thing get you. I don't, I didn't even get a really good look at it. It was just a like, it was a shadow thing that looked like it was half a zombie just crawling away. Fantastic. Zombies. Nothing like zombies. All right, I'm back at the very, very beginning part, and I'm about to go left instead. Okay. First section doesn't seem to have any levers, but I'm about to go up a pair of stairs where I saw the zombie. And there is a blue gate. So I think I gotta go pull the gate, the blue lever, and then come back here. Okay, because if you can get through that gate, you can get to the green lever. Or what I'm assuming is the green lever. There's gonna be a lot of fast forward edits. <laughs> oh boy. Or just like, I either do a hard skip or I'm like, I walked for 20 minutes or I'm just gonna double speed. Which is always fun because it makes my voice all squeaky. Oh. I see a green lever and there's a lot of gates in here. So I'm wondering which one of these is gonna go down the moment I hit it. I've got, a, if you're in the room with the green lever, there should be a green gate to the left and up or down stairs. I see a green gate that is probably gonna close when I pull the lever. It goes upstairs. I'm gonna start hitting buttons. Cause there's also, each color has two corresponding gates. So there's another, damn it, it the map keeps going out. Uh, there's another green gate going back the way you initially went. When this game takes three hours, they meant it. <laughs> You'll get your steps in though. I'll just be getting my steps in in game, but out of game, I'm stanced up like L from Death Note. Alright, you do what you gotta do. Let's see, I gotta go pull the lever, and then I will continue onward. Alright, I pulled the blue one, the green one's pulled as well, so I'm gonna go see what that's all about. Okay. Blue. I'm 
back in that big room you mentioned, that where I said the green gate was closed, and I'm standing in front of an open green gate now. Okay, there should be a red lever. Lever. I see it. Okay. <laughs> so if you pull that, there's two red gates it could manipulate. Um, if you pull it and go back th through the green gate that you just opened, went through, and go straight, and then right, there's a uh. and there's another red gate all the way back uh, near the green lever. a lowered red gate and then I continue on to a bit of a square room that doesn't have anything there's these weird vents that I'm very nervous about this map does not stop going out need better batteries double A to go flip a switch I don't know where the lever went. Lever! Where are you? Please. Oh, there you are. Oh. Oh, no. So one of the, one of the red gates, it looks like it should, it should lead to an exit. Um, I'm just not sure which one you need to manipulate in order to do that. I'm in front of another painting that looks like a, um, it has a cat body and a puppy's head with a long feather as on the very tip of the forehead and bat wings. Probably doesn't mean anything, but the artwork is crazy in here. Somebody was hitting the good stuff when they came up with those drawings. All right. I went through the gate, the red one, that was, I had to go hit it again so I can open it up. So that the red gate's back, or the red lever is back in the default. And as I go through, there's stairs to the right and a green and red lower gate continuing on. Okay, I, it looks like if you go through the red gate, it should be the exit. Just gotta find a way around because if I hit the red gate, I can't come back this way. Uh, do you see a pathway from the green gate next to the exit red? Because uh, I think that might be the way I have to go. Yeah, hold on. I had to flip the damn switch again. The switch, Crunk. Hit the switch. The lever. The green lever that room I'm wondering if you pull that if that'll open that green gate that's that's near the lever and you can exit that way pull the lever crunk pull it not the wrong lever don't yell at me monk I'm sensitive Lost. Nope, found it. Found the red lever. All right, hold the red lever, which means the exit is now open. Fingers crossed. Just gotta find my way around this place after the green lever is pulled. found another painting that is just a pit bull drooling. There are no modifications to him. Ah, oh, normal, normalcy. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta go pull the blue lever, which I think... If I pull the blue and the green, I'll have a straight shot all the way to the exit now. Okay. Which is weird, because I feel like I've just put all the levers back to their normal stance. It's, it's really hard not having uh, any way to see what you're doing. <laughs> Should have brought a GoPro and not a radio. I, 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 there was no puzzle. I li <laughs> I just put all the levers back to their normal stats and I'm at the exit now. Ah, checkpoint reached. Nice. I am in front of a chessboard. We are, we're going to lose. No. But I know nothing about nothing about chess. We have to play wizards chess, Harry. I'm just going to go get beat up by a statue. Okay, well, yeah. If that thing doesn't kill us, this might kill us. Oh, wait a minute. On the table next to the map, I have a film reel called World's Greatest Chess Move. I'm powering up a generator. Yeah, I've got like a huge camera, or like a projector. I turned on a generator. Did that do anything on your end? I'm about to stick the movie. Okay, hold on. This. This film reel is glitching out. Just realized I'm freezing to death. <laughs> I am desperately trying to put this film reel on this projector and it keeps glitching out and falling back down onto the table. Save me, man! What's on your forehead? What is that? Are those just cracks? Dude, I'm not trying to kill you. This film reel is freaking out. Sounds about right. This is why we have modern technology! Okay, okay I think I'm good. I'm cranking something. Oh! I've got, okay, I've got a movie. It's gonna make me play chess by myself. Okay, it's chessboard moves. <sighs> oh dear lord. Uh, this, this might be the end of the line for you, buddy. Most of my screen is covered by frost. <laughs> uh, we might have to do this over. It goes out. All right. Okay, so face the white pieces. The pawn, that is it, the fourth white pawn move up two spaces, starting from your left. Oh boy. I might have messed up already because I already moved a pawn by accident because I clicked the thing. I don't see any way to restart the thing, the chessboard. It looks like if you're facing the white pieces, going from your left, 
the fourth white pawn over, you just move it up two spaces. All right, and the black one? And then the black pawn that is directly in front of the white one you just moved, move it up two spaces. Oh, this is horrible. One, two, three, four. All right. I have to keep cranking this. Okay. So next move is so dead. facing <laughs> the white. The bishop that's next to the king. Move it diagonally three spaces. Which one's a bishop? Oh no! I can no longer see the map <laughs> as it's covered in, completely in frost. I don't give a whole lot of time. Okay, let's see. Did you get the bishop? Uh, that's a knight. Um, you haven't died, have you? No. Bishop won't let me pick it. Pick the bishop. And what I do... Is this the bishop? No, that's a knight. Um, is this the king? That's the king. It's, that's on the left. And just move it diagonally. Three spaces towards what would be your... Right? Hmm. One, two. Huh? Uh, they are reset. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. So starting over. Oh. Oh, no. I died! No! <laughs> I froze to death. Who, oh, who makes no. a chess puzzle in the dungeon? Oh god, I got so spooked. Okay, I got spooked because the first thing I looked at was a bunch of was a red gate. I was like, no, not again. Alright. I am about to head in and start freezing. I'm gonna set the generator immediately. set the generator, but I'm very bad at this minigame. On top of everything else, and after you just froze to death, a minigame. And then you have to solve a chess puzzle. Unbelievable. <laughs> Why must I be tortured this way? Alright, I got the generator going, so your movie thing should work, and I'm standing in front of the chessboard with full vision. Okay. Facing the white pieces, starting on your left, the fourth white pawn, move up two spaces. Got it. The black pawn, directly in front of that white pawn, move two spaces up. Got it. Fight me! I will not. Fight me! Keep I will not. Keep the thing.
I'm gonna assume these guys are bishops. Why is it so cold out here? What are you, a rook? Praise me, Father. All right. Got it, or do I need to try and explain that better? I didn't hear anything. Oh. So you haven't moved the bishop? No. Oh, okay. So facing the white pieces, uh, the back left, move over three spaces to the white bishop, and move it three spaces diagonally. Got it. Now I just need the blue and black ones. Okay, so the next move is facing the black pieces uh, on your left, the second black pawn, move one space up. Got it. Cranking it back up. Okay. Let it run through its... Okay. Da, 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 da. Bishop. Pawn. Okay. Facing the white pieces, the Queen, move it diagonally to spaces. Got it. Okay. And then facing the black pieces. Is it going to be the knight? I am blind. Starting or on your left. The knight move diagonally one space. It should be it should be a white block. It ends up on. Uh, it'll be either on the edge of the board or somewhere closer to the middle. It's it's going to be closer to the middle. Got it. Okay, that's the knight. What's the next spot? Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, uh, the white queen, move it up to the pawn directly in front of it. I did it! I killed it! I gotta run. Oh, I cannot believe a chess thing was won. Where, where do I go? Okay, I feel like something opened, but I don't see anything. I don't... I see it! I'm about to die! If I die before I get into this door, I'm gonna be so mad! I'm alive. Okay. I... To all of you? Because I don't have any new open doors or anything? I look like I'm in a trap room. Uh, there are spikes on either side. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. A five by five grid of these black slabs that I feel like if I just walked on one, I'm going to get stabbed. And in front of it all is a book with symbols, a flower, a pair of long legs with a T on top, that weird pie symbol from the very beginning. Uh, a, I guess the best way to describe this is a stick man with his arms up in the air and a, a house. Okay, I've got a 
bunch of books laying around. So, and they've got symbols on their covers. So let me see. I'm trying to find one that looks like a flower with a V as the as the stems or the petals on the bottom. Well, halfway through the stick. Oddly enough, they all have that symbol as the first. Okay, so I've got, it almost looks like a cat stick figure, maybe? I see the flower as well. And then long legs with a really tiny T at the top, the symbol that is kind of weird and janky, and then a person with their hands up in the air, and you said a house? Yeah, either a house or like a face that looks shocked and it has like three little lines as pigtails. I got the upper left and right of where the edges would meet. Three crow-like feet. Instructions on the back of the book. Okay. Starting in the far west, take two steps northbound. On the west. So the furthest over here, and then I go two forward. Let's find out if I die. Steps northbound. I'm alive. <laughs> awesome. I knew you can do it. Head east twice. Still alive. Then after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step towards the western wall. Oh, I did it. I, Vlad the Impaler is what the achievement's called. Ooh. The achievement was called Vlad the Impaler. I could only imagine. Oh, some great achievement names. <laughs> I'm easily amused. I tried it out. I died. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I hear someone talking. To tonight's feature show. I do too. I'm like in a theater. All right. I look like I'm behind the scenes. Um, no, not really. I could see a couple things. I have six levers that kind of look like cranks more than levers where you would spin them uh, scene one blood light and two rooms one with uh cutouts of stick figures and the other one is uh a i don't know how to describe this a big old square piece with an oval and cut out in the middle and in the center of it all is a cutout with a picture of a star. Or no, crown. Okay, I'm on a stage. The thespian that I am. And I've got a gramophone. Which I looks like I can play, so I'm going to play that real quick. I heard a jingle. There once was a castle filled with life is what it said uh, I'm gonna try hitting a crank and see what happens tell me if anything like drops these look like something would fall from the sky if I hit these this... Okay, I don't know what you just did, but something lit up on the stage. I hit the middle crank. I just turned it right once, left once, right once. Okay, I well, it looks like I've got slots on the stage. Maybe, maybe they bring out props or something. They're linked to the the cranks. I'm gonna try hitting scene one and see what happens if anything triggers. I'm not seeing anything. Um, 
shadow thing's getting, it's like a marionette. And it's getting closer. Um, let's see. There's a lot of things to twist on my end. <laughs> Trying to, I'm trying to figure out this gramophone. There once was a castle filled with life. Okay, you need to stop moving. You're freaking me out. Ooh, ooh, I don't know what you just did, but there's like a prop trying to come out of the wall. Ooh, I can see that prop. Let me see. It, it looks like maybe like the entrance to a castle. Yes. Keep, keep on cranking. Keep going, dear God. Keep going. Okay. I think you're good. Uh, maybe try some of the other cranks. I'm assuming this is supposed to signify the castle. Okay, I've got a, a king that just came out. Let's see what we got over here. I'm wondering if the gramophone, a castle filled with life, it was supposed to set up the scenes with these props. These aren't even moving. It seems that the... Uh, I have three cutouts. One with like people, one with a sword, one with a crown. They're not moving no matter what I hit. But the castle and the king are moving. Okay. A castle filled with life. Okay, a red light just came on. It means they're recording. Ooh, the closer this thing gets, my vision keeps going out. I think I know what's going on. I'm going to send out a cutout with a bunch of people on it. I'm going to try to get it in between the castle. Let me know. Okay. Here they come. Okay. They, uh... Okay, they're good. Maybe, maybe try and retract the king. Okay, um, is there, did you say you had a button that said, like, scene or something? Yeah, it says scene one. Maybe pull that? There once was okay. A oh! With life. Okay, I think that was it. Or, it's... Now we have scene two. Okay! All right, do you see anything that says uh, talks about scene two? Okay, um, it said something about a, the king living in the castle with his wife. So I would assume bring the castle back out, the king, and maybe a queen? Alright, do you see anything? Yes. There's a king, a queen. Um pull uh pull them a little bit more. Uh 
One more for the castle. Maybe one more for the king and queen. I think I did them as far as they'll go. Or for both of them? Oh, oh god. Oh god, it's right behind me. <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? And there lived a king with his wife. Third scene. Games like this usually go rules of three, so maybe this is the last one. Hopefully, guys, because she's about to get annoyed. All were happy and all were all was good. Oh. Hell, maybe bring all of them out. You just stay over there. You creepy ass looking thing. All right, they're they're slowly inching out. Castle needs to come out a couple more times. With my cranking powers. Maybe one more. All were happy and all was No. No, you got murdered. The you? marionette. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrifying. I cannot wait to see your end. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I just I play the gramophone and out of my own business and then it just was at the top of the stairs oh no we're being hunted <laughs> i'm wondering if that's what you saw oh i hope not <laughs> all right so i think we were on the right track so i think we can get through at least the first three pretty quickly yeah i remember how to do the first three so i could probably rapid fire them okay well let's go All right, I am at the weird pedestal thing. I remember this. It is to the far left. Never mind, it changed. Oh, okay, we gotta do this again with the sim. Okay. I lied, it didn't change. I'm just clumsy. Okay, so it should be this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Turns out I'm just clumsy. It's okay. It's okay. I have no room to judge anybody about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. Alright. What was the first one again? I think this is the castle with people in it. Yes. Castle. All right, castle's good. People are slowly coming out. All right, that should be it. Scene one. There once was a castle filled with light. Okay. All right, see. so the next one should be, I believe it was the castle, king and queen. They coming. Oh Lord, they coming. All right, castles lined up. I think we're good. And there lived a king Did it? Did it? All right. Okay, so the next one should, I think, be all of, all of them. 
Going crazy on my end. I'm losing sanity. Castle more. There you go. People. There we go. I think that might be it. Scene. Yep. Do you see the marionette yet? Oh yeah. As soon as I hit, I play the gramophone here, he shows up. Oh god. All right. What was the fourth one? Something about the king killing everyone. Mood. I think it's until the king killed all he could. Here comes the SWAT! Okay. I don't think that worked. Pull the regular king back? Till the king killed all he could. Uh, ah, there we go. There we go. Jesus. Yeah, kind of got dark. <laughs> and this is rated PG. I brought my kids. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the next one is going to be. Standing in blood, he proudly said. It's hard to hear this gramophone. I'm gonna try sending out the king and then just making it, make it red. Ooh, vision's going. That wasn't it. Maybe I'll try putting out the castle now. Standing in blood, he proudly said. But nothing, nothing's happening on the stage. Is the king leaving or the castle? Castle. Okay, crazy man with sword is coming out. Okay. Okay, castle and sword king is lined up. Okay. Regular king's gone. Is it red? No. Okay, it is now. That still didn't work. Did he come in? Oh, Lord, he coming. Nothing's happening on this end. Oh, you're pulling the castle back. Yeah, it might just be him alone. Him alone. Nothing yet. Okay, trap door open. Trap door open. Oh, good lord. Get me in here. Well, that was horrifying. Okay, but I cannot use the trap door. 
Hello. Hello. Uh, it looked a little weird on my end. Like, uh, your your dot will become a big old circle. Yeah. I don't, whoa. No, stop it. We did it. Why is this? Freedom! Release me from my torment! Okay, okay. Whoa! Got it, got you it. You scared me. You scared me. Can you hear me without the radio? Oh, does one of us have to stay behind? Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? You go, and I'll just plan to haunt your ass for the rest of your life. Woo, free friend! <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Got out and left your friend behind. <laughs> the, Unbelievable. The artwork is me just booking it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sacrifice? You left me with the marionette. I can't believe it. It can't be helped. I mean, you know, I was a little concerned about we were here. Mm -hmm. I felt like we were being set up. Just freeze to death a little bit, get murdered by a marionette, all that good stuff. You know, all in a day's work. Mm -hmm.